UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing the World Award Championship between Bruce Lee and Bile Beer. I hope you guys will like it. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Paris, France. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Vicious. This is for the UFC Championship. You want to be in the commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to the corners, come out for excited as this fight gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist but on one side you have a definite striker taking on a true 5-2 and you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is he knows where the fight needs to be he knows what he has to do in order to be successful let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him leg kick by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Over and over, he's landed 
big body kick. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. He's very quick to throw that body kick. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Cave of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Try to establish that jab. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Wow, what a head kick. Watch the shot. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Out of range with that kick attempt. Pretty good right hand. Beautiful kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Just misses with the jab. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice. He blocks the punch. Just misses with the straight right. It is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. She goes back to that left kick once again. Gotta check these low leg kicks. 20 seconds to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ten seconds now to go in the round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys evenly match. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. 
Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice one-two there. Oh! He's out! Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's going to like the sound of that. Getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. You know what it's like to get that first UFC belt and become a champion for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all waiting for live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas it's time five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Vicious. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, Fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee.
All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the turtle in that kick. A nice one, two there. Misses with the right hand. Going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Oh! Straight punch lands. Just misses with the straight left hand. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Big kick lands. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Lands the right hand. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big leg kick land. Oh, oh where is he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a very bad kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He landed the right hand there. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Clipped him with the right hand there. You 
got to check these low leg kicks. Big body kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Throwing that jab, no good. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken. Oh, 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 oh. Fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! Beautiful strike. Just misses with the left hook. Circling to his right. Nice one, two there. Nice use of punch. Nice head kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice strike. Right hand upstairs. Nice head kick. Engages in the single collar tie. Well, missed on that one. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he's trying to chase down that kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai punch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, just misses with the kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice punch. 
punch slant over the top. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. Throws the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Big kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back and just truly mixing up the target. Tight to behold. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off with. Nice punch, man. Seconds winding down in round two. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough one. You need to be on his feet right now. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready? You ready? It's Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Liver kick. Able to check that kick as well. There's no tell on that leg kick. No place kick there. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up there. Checks that leg kick. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Went for the inside leg kick. Big head kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of the third round. You play the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, he came in the hunted, he remains as such. Congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in retaining his title. One of the best.